Adam Roy back again. Back to you with a vlog. No, I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, things have just been really, really hectic around the house. Uh, yesterday I had to uh, go to a seminar uh, put on by my mom's work. She asked if we all could go. Dad couldn't make it, but she and I went. And that took up a good portion of the day. But it was for a good cause. It's for uh, helping uh, when convicts get out of um, jail helping them restore some of their rights and uh, making sure that they can become productive, productive members of society again. So as you can probably see, some of my uh, housework has laxed a little bit. I didn't make my bed this morning and uh, I still have folded clothes that need to be put away. And as most of you guys know, for me, this is a big deal because I am a neat freak. So that'll get done today, but probably not for a little while. Um, I am working on another computer. This is something I picked up yesterday at uh, a thrift store. It's a CHKD thrift store, but one that's a little bit further from my house. This is a Dell Inspiron 530S. And I know a few of you guys actually own these. Um, the S stands for small form factor. So you can see this is about half the size of a normal desktop. And right on front here does have a DVD burner got to wake it up first. Got a DVD burner on the front. See right there. Under here it has a little door that hides the uh, memory card reader. This is a 12-in-1 memory card reader. Got two USB 2.0 ports. Power button right there. And front headphone and microphone ports. And this is rocking a Core 2 Duo E8300, which I believe is a 2.86 gigahertz uh, processor. I'll go ahead and turn on. I'm actually loading uh, Windows on it right now. I need to see if there are any other updates to do, and there is. Man, I tell you, I downloaded a copy of Windows 7 with the Service Pack 1. I've already installed 200 updates, and you can see there's tons more left here. I've got 79 important updates, so I'm going to go ahead and do those. Uh, specs wise, this isn't too great. I mean, it'd be good for, as a basic system for somebody. Again, it's got the Core 2 Duo E8300 running at 2.83 gigahertz. It only has 2 gigabytes of RAM, and that's just because the RAM that I have, the extra RAM, will not work in this system. This system requires at least PC or DDR2 PC2 5300 RAM, and all I have lying around is 4200 memory, and that will not work in this computer. It'll just give you beeps if you try. It'll give you the memory beeps. So, let's show you guys the rating here real quick. Uh, the processor actually gets a 6.3, which is really nice. Memory of 5.5. Graphics for Aero is a 4. Gaming graphics are 3.4. And that's because this is just rocking the uh, Intel G34, I think it is. Uh, we'll check that in a minute and the uh, 5.9 for the hard drive which is common for any mechanical hard drive and G33 the video card in this is the Intel G3331 uh, Intel chipset rocking 256 megabytes of RAM so again this would be a decent system for somebody who wants to uh, use word processing, surf the internet, maybe play internet games I'm actually going to wind up selling this computer because, again, I really don't have a need for it. Um, including a, a Logitech webcam here. This, is, this one's really nice. It's got the right light technology and the right sound technology. Basically what that means is in really low light, almost no light, it'll still see your face. It'll actually collect any bit of light it sees in the room and focus it towards your face. Got two... Um, just regular st uh, stereo speakers. They're not the greatest. They're gearhead speakers. They run off the USB port for power. 
And the monitor is one that you guys have probably seen before. This is a Dell 20 inch uh, W2009. I'm actually very impressed with it. Um, there's a YouTube out, user out there, it's my natural color, and I believe these are the same monitors he had. I think he's since replaced them, but he used these things for years and they were fantastic. So I'm going to show you guys the back of this computer real quick. Let's shine some light on the situation here. As you can see, got your regular VGA port there. Four USB 2.0 ports which are being used at the moment. Uh, an Ethernet port, 10 100 1000 gigabit, and your various audio ports for uh, surround sound. Now this is interesting. This is actually a wireless card, but I have no idea what, what kind of plug would go in that. It works, albeit very uh, low reception, because obviously there must have been an uh, a, um, external antenna. You plug the antenna in there, and then you'd, you'd probably just sit it right on top. I don't have that, so what I did, I just used one of these uh, wireless end cards, the ones I got online, and went ahead and just plugged it in the front, and that works just fine. All right, guys. Uh, I did wind up going out to garage sales yesterday, but I really didn't find anything that great except for one item, and it's something my mom really needed, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. This is my mom's old Auric vacuum I picked up for her probably, oh, I don't know, two or three years ago. It's an Auric XL Extended Life, and it was about probably 15 years old when I got it for her. so this thing's pushing 20 years old and unfortunately let me bring this in the kitchen and show you what's happening to this is everything's wearing out I actually had to glue down if you can see that I had to glue down this uh, plate that holds the uh, light bulb because every time you would hit it on something it would just pop up and you can see that the uh, cover for the light is actually a little bit warped that was no big deal, um, but the biggest problem I'm having is, if you can see right there, the metal on the handle is starting to break. I actually just tried to glue that, and I don't think it's really holding. I'm going to let it cure a little bit longer, but the problem is, it's just worn out. I mean, this thing has been used for so many years. So, I picked her this up yesterday. Another Auric. This one is an Auric Classic XL. Now, this one does not have the light on it. But what I really like about this is the weight. Whereas that Auric, because it has the light and a few other little features, uh, weighs about 10 pounds. This one only weighs about 7 pounds. And I picked this up for $5. And the reason I got it so cheaply, the belt was bad and the lady knew that and she just didn't want to bother changing it so for those of you guys that are interested this here is the sticker uh, let's see if I can get a model number here well you can see that it was manufactured in March of 1999 and this is the XL 231QR5 so I'm not sure what that means to some of you auric enthusiasts but uh yeah, I'm really happy to have this, and uh, hopefully this one will last for a lot longer. There's nothing wrong with this. The handle is totally secure. There's no metal fatigue. This one even has the extra long cord. This is what they call the uh, hotel-style org vacuums. If you go into hotels, these are the ones that they tend to use a lot. What is it? What you want? As you can see, my little girl requires attention. This is what we do lately. We just come over here. Everybody in the house can do this with her, and we just pet her. She has been very lonesome recently. Say hi to everybody on YouTube, LT. She sticks her butt up in the air. She likes her butt scratches, what I've seen most cats do. She has a beautiful mark. I don't know if I ever showed you guys. She has got a little white spot on her back. What? No, you didn't like that? She didn't like that. Such a good girl. And I could probably do this for a half an hour and she would be just content to let me sit there and pet her. Alright guys, 
I'm going to end the vlog here for today. This is a sun, nice Sunday, so we're just going to be relaxing. We're going to go and uh, eat out at Red Lobster later because my dad got uh, turned in a bunch of his uh, credit card points and got a whole lot of gift cards. He hasn't done that in a while, so we're going to have a nice meal at Red Lobster, uh, Crab Fest. And if I remember, I'll try to get a picture and post it up on Facebook. You get uh, Alaskan, cra Alaskan King Crab, Alaskan Snow Crab, Crab Alfredo, and of course the biscuits. So can't wait to give that a try. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.